Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure, Thomas here. Today I'll be talking about the product to help you with your chain alignment on your motorcycle. Doesn't matter what you ride, uh, if you have a chain drive, uh, you have to adjust the chain pretty much every thousand kilometers or so, I would guess. Um, I, I do it pretty much, I check my chain before every ride. And for that purpose, I bumped into this product, BPA Racing. Uh, chain adjuster uh, That's supposed to help you to adjust the chain. So how that works first you have to adjust the chain on your motorcycle as your owner's manual and Then you can use that tool to calibrate and make your adjustments easier next time when you adjusting your chain and especially when you're working by yourself you it's kind of hard uh, uh, to to do that uh, well it's not hard but uh, it's uh, you have to go back and forth and move the chain remeasure every time there's uh, usually like two or three attempts uh, before you get this right so for that we got this uh, once you adjust it you set the, you you uh, you make the adjustments on your chain I'll show you that once I get on a bike and uh, from that point on you just follow the guide of this uh, chain adjuster uh, little tool so it's packaged really well and what's nice about it the instructions are on the back of the box so let's go ahead and uh, open this box and see the contents as you see they give you a nice storage pouch a bonus i guess you can keep it somewhere in your toolbox or in a, in a on a bike or in your tank bag if you have uh, enough room and then you have an actual tool so that goes around the chain and then this part goes around the back of like so, so you just lift it up and here once you align this it's tight i will loosen it up because i'm gonna have to change the setting afterwards anyways so once you align it it will show you that you are in the middle and you know that your chain is good while you're making the adjustments with the nuts so you have your little or torque uh, wrench that comes to uh, to make the adjustment here you have also a wrench to move this dial um, to the proper position once uh, before you lock that screw so that has to be set first before you can use that tool in the future and uh, it's gonna be different for every bike so if you have it set for your motorcycle and your buddy is gonna need a chain adjustments on the go uh, it's, it's it's not gonna work unless he's got the same type of uh, motorcycle as you ride because they'll be having the same uh, chain uh, adjustment on a chain so this is it uh, what you see looks like it's a quality machined metal steel or stainless steel because i don't think that's made anything different than stainless steel and we'll get in the garage and we'll give this a shot stay tuned uh, once we move over Right, so I'm in the garage right now and we gotta make sure the chain is adjusted and the adjustment on uh, 27 Af 2017 Africa Twin is between uh, 35 and 45 millimeters. So we wanna take the measure tape. I'm a little bit too loose, so I'm gonna have to loosen, uh, tighten up my chain first. You want to loosen up uh, the axle nut on the other side. I made a video that I do that I will link how to change the sprockets and chain. So at, over there I'm making more detailed video how to make that adjustment uh, on your chain on Africa Twin. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube as well. You want to loosen up your locking nuts, they're 12 millimeter 12 millimeter uh, wrench. And I want to bring my chain to about uh, 40 millimeter slack. That's an average between 35 and 45. 
So basically your best place to measure is there's a little curve or a little band on a chain guide or chain protection so that you can use as a reference. As soon as this dips in, I measure the axle. That's uh, more or less your middle between the center, the front sprocket and the back sprocket. So right there. I'll do quarter turns on both sides and we will recheck it. Still a little bit too loose. So now I have my chain adjusted. So if I push it all the way up and down, I got 40. So that's exactly what I wanted. At this point, I want to uh, tighten up my rear axle nut on the right hand side. And the torque is 74 foot pounds of torque on the rear axle nut. Okay, 74. Okay, that's tightened to 74 foot pounds of torque. I will recheck one more time. So, all the way up. Okay, still 40. So, you want to hold this the adjustment uh, bolt, lock your locking nut. All right, so now we have our chain adjusted and we will try the BPA racing uh, chain adjuster. How is that gonna work? I'm not much of an instruction guy, <laughs> but let's quickly have a look here. Okay, so what they're saying, this is in a way, so you wanna put it between the chain links, just like that. Bring it up over the chain. That's kind of in a way the center stand. But, as we know, we have to measure the chain slack on the side stand. So what I will do, I'll put something heavy on the other side of the center stand and that should hold it down. Alright, so let's unlock this thing one more time and make sure that we are right in between the chain links. And now, we have to zero it. So to do that, we unscrew this screw here and use the provided wrench to put it right in zero mark. So hold that in place. Hopefully you won't move. Ah, it goes only one way. You can't have that wrench in any other way just on the bottom, which is kind of weird because that's the way they shape this thing. Sorry if I have my hands in front of the camera, but there's not much of an option. I'll get my little flashlight and we'll make sure we are in zero. Yes, we are. All right, so now this is tightened. And every time you want to make the chain adjustment now, all you have to do once this, is goes, once this goes out of whack, you just gonna make adjustment, either loosen it up or tighten it up with the rear stuff and you don't have to measure it anymore with your measuring tape. All right, so that's a pretty cool tool. It's a pretty useful tool. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's about $59 Canadian on Amazon you can get it or you can get it directly from the manufacturer. But I figure always uh, Amazon is always cheaper. Uh, because manufacturer would ding me probably for the shipping charges. Uh, so the price uh, was no brainer to go with the Amazon. Thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful and if you found this tool useful, um, I really recommend it. I've seen uh, somebody using it actually, so that's why I decided to go with this. Thank you for watching as always. Uh, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Cheers.